Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Yaqat Zaman and I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful time. Okay, so this is the next lesson that we are going to be learning about verbs. So, so far we've learnt about the verbs. Okay, we've learnt about various things. Uh, right, so if we go back to this again, today we are going to be covering verbs when it comes to plural verbs now. So let's take our verbs that we learned so far. So we learned how to say he drinks, right? Or, you know, she drinks or we drink or I drink or etc. And we always have to remember, it always has to be this red one right at the beginning. Right, ashrabu means I drink. Nashrabu is we. Tashrabu is you or she. And yashrabu is uh, he. Now, if you want to say, if you want to say basically, they drink like let's say there's men and you're saying they are drinking then you have to take this una and you have to add it to the end so if you remember when we did dual we said you add the ani right this was the ani was there but this one you add una okay you're gonna add una there so it's gonna be yash ra yash ra buna so now because you can pronounce it you don't have to use the fatah just use the Dhamma there. So, yashra buna. If you want to say you all are drinking men, you say tashra buna. So, this una is actually for men. It's a masculine plural. Right? This is a masculine plural. For women, we're going to be doing that in a bit. So, tashra buna. Tashra buna. Remember, the root meaning is to drink. You put a ta at the beginning, it makes it into you or it makes it into she. So because you got an una at the end, it means you all. You all are drinking. Now, if you want to say that for writing, right, you got kataba, right? Let's say you want to say they all are drinking. What are we going to do? So we're going to put a ya at the beginning to make it mean uh, third person. And then an una at the end to mean uh, they. So yaktubuna, yaktubuna. They are drinking. They are drinking. Oops, I mean, they are writing, not drinking, they are writing. So, yaktubuna, yaktubuna. Right, so, uh, you got that yaktubuna there. And let's, let's try out another one. Right, so, so you can only have two, really. Either you're going to say, you are all drinking, writing, or you're going to say, yaktubuna. You've got no other, other option. You can't say, ah. You can't say, this. Here from here, okay. So you say you can't say naktubuna, and you can't say aktubuna, right? Like we said, these two do not work with the blue ones, right? So you can only have these at the beginning. You can't have a blue. So if you've got an a, uh, you can't say una or ani, right? You can just say aktubu, or you can say naktubu. And that's it, right? And the last one, you got the da, da, you got the ba, and you got the ra, right? And we say this is different from the others because it's got a kasra under the middle one. Okay, so if you want to say they are hitting, you put a ya at the beginning. And they, plural, you put an una. And if it's for dual, you obviously put ani. Yeah, ani, yadrib, ani. Again, yadrib, una. If you want to say you all are hitting, then you just put a ta at the beginning. Tadri, buna. Tadri, buna. And there you have it. And that's it, basically. Now, if you want to do it for female women, so let's say there's a group of women, then what you have to do basically is you have to add a na at the end. Na. Right, you add a na at the end. Um, but there are just two things you have to remember. The first thing you have to remember is that, you know, when you're going to be saying this, you're actually going to be pronouncing a sukun at the, on the last letter here. So on this last letter, you're actually going to put a sukun there. Right? You're not gonna say banu, you don't say tadri banu or tadri bunu buna. No, you can say tadribna. Sukun. Okay, so you got the sukun here. And the second point is um that the beginning of it is either gonna be tadribna, tadribna, that you all women are hitting. Or it's going to be yadribna, they all women are hitting. Right, they. So it's like, you know, um, she is with ties in it. 
she is with ta but for some strange reason this is like an exception to the rule that you don't say you know they with a ta you say they with a ya okay so you say they with a ya right so you're either going to say yadribna or tadribna you women are hitting or they women are hitting and the same with goes for these ones so again if you want to say they women are writing you're going to put ya at the beginning and you're going to put sukun and the ba and then you're going to put a noon there yak tub na yak tub na okay so yak tub na means they are writing so remember you put the sukun and the ba and ya and then we can say you all women are writing by putting a ta okay and over here as well you got the shari shari ba so you put the noon at the end and you either put a ta at the beginning it means you all women are drinking or you say they all women are drinking okay so that's basically how this present verbs work we've only got one more present verb left right one more present verb left um and uh you know that's just for one left and i'm going to explain that right at the end of this lesson but if you've understood this so let's recap it again then so you have root letters you have are going to always be three so you got three root letters right if you want to say he you put a ya there if you want to say she or you you're going to put a ta at the beginning and if you want to say we you're going to put a na right nashrabu and if you want to say i then you're going to put and Hamza, and you're going to say Ashrabu. Now, if you want to say two, you're going to say they two are drinking. You're going to put an Ani at the end, and then because it's third person, yeah, you're going to say Yashrab. And because the pronunciation, you're going to have to change it to Yashrabani. Okay, Yashrabani. And if you want to say plural men, there's plural men drinking, you're just going to replace it with the Una. So Yash. Rab na yash rab na yashrabuna rada yashrabuna they are drinking and if you want to say they women are drinking then you just replace it with noon but the only thing is you have to remember is you have to put a sukun here yeah sukun on the ba for that pronunciation yashrabna it's they okay they women so that's what you learn in sarf basically in sarf that's what you learn you learn how like i said in the in the first lesson how you structure the patterns how you set the patterns so there's a fixed patterns and all you have to do it's like you know molds for jelly jelly molds you just put the jelly in and then it just molds it so you just put the content in which is shariba or kataba right or daraba and there you have it you have your words and you just had at the beginning of it you have to add something and then at the end depending on if it's singular dual or plural all right i hope that makes sense now one last thing one last thing if you want to say for instance like to a woman this is an exception as well if you want to say to a woman you are drinking you're saying to a, a woman who is single not plural one woman you're saying to her so you're going to say ta at the beginning because that comes for dual or second person rather tashrab and then what you're going to have to do i'm just going to write it on here because i haven't really made one for this All right so i'm going to put it onto here so then what you're going to say is you're going to put this at the end ina you put a kasra there tashra Bina. So that's when you're speaking to a woman and you're saying to her, You are drinking. Tashrabina. Tashrabina. Right? So you got the ta, which means second person, and then you got the ina at the end, and you got to put a kasra on the last for pronunciation. Because if you had it buina, tashrabina, you can't say that really. It's not pronounceable. So the Arabs just change the kasra or the vowel on the ba. And the same was if you had the word kataba, let's say. So kataba. For instance, kataba. And you want to say you are writing. You're saying to a woman, it's a woman called Zainab, let's say. Saying, Zainab, you are writing. So you would say tak tu. 
and over here you'd put a kasra yeah kasra of pronunciation tak to bina and if it was hitting then you would say tad ri again same thing over here put kasra there ta at the beginning tad ri bina okay so that's the summary of present verbs okay present verbs and you can have a go yourselves try to uh if you guys enjoyed this um let me know what you guys think of this patrons thank you very much for watching this video or make help me make this video and anyone else wants to become a patron let me know inshallah and um, check in the comments or in the description there should be a link there for you guys to check out jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh